Hello biologists, in today's daily revision task, you are asked to produce a concept map on the transcription and translation of genes resulting in the synthesis of polypeptides. The following short video will summarise this for you. It's unwound by DNA hexplase. That exposes the antisense strand of DNA, which is where the code needs to come from to make the messenger RNA. Underneath, half of your RNA transcriptionase binds underneath it, half of your RNA transcriptionase binds at the top. If your RNA transcriptionase moves down the DNA, complementary nucleotides go and join together using diester bonds to form a long strand of messenger RNA. Right, the RNA transcription is dislodges when it reaches stop codon. The messenger RNA moves out of the nucleus through the nuclear pore into the cytoplasm until it reaches a ribosome. The small unit of the ribosome binds at the bottom, the large subunit binds at the top. Once it's in that, Transport RNA with complementary codons go and bind to the codons on the messenger RNA and bring the amino acids that are going to form our protein. As the ribosome moves along, subsequent messenger RNAs are dislodged and a long chain of polypeptides forms between the individual amino acids peptide bonds form due to a dehydration reaction and that is what generates the primary structure of protein right. stop stop Hopefully this video should have helped you complete your daily revision task. Please subscribe so you can keep up to date with other videos to help with your daily revision tasks. You can follow me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter to help you keep up to date.